Hey everybody, this is NJ here, the host of the NJ Podcast, and this is Transformational Tuesdays. This is part of the Everyday Series where we try to get you to say like Jay-Z, I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman, and let me handle my business, dang. And on today's episode, we're going to talk about what is your true nature? What is your true nature? You may have covered this before and you may have heard of a certain scenario about Michael, right? Fictional scenario. Meet Michael. Now, Michael is a software developer who is insanely skilled at his job. He will create websites, mobile applications, and solve the most complex technical problems with great skill and tact. Michael has spent over a decade perfecting his technical craft. Some say he's too good for his current employer and should explore other options. Then one day, Michael gets tired of the 12-hour workdays, exploitation without enough compensation, taxation without representation, and then he has a fallout with his boss. So he quits and opens up his own enterprise. The beginning is good. Michael gets a good number of clients, he is producing high-quality work, he is making money and working 10 hours a day, and is passionate about his work. When the business starts growing, he must focus not only on delivering projects, but also managing the business and getting more clients. This becomes more work, and now he starts working 14 hours a day. Next, Michael hires someone to help with the administration and marketing, but soon after, due to the workload, the employee quits. Now Michael is working 18 hours a day in the business and is now project and now the project quality starts slipping and he loses some clients. This state of chaos carries on and then he loses his grit. He closes the business and goes back to being full-time as an employee working 12-hour days, being exploited without compensation, having taxation without representation and having constant gripes with his boss. This is a common scenario where a business has failed. This happens because we believe that we only need to have one type of personality to make a business a success, but this is not true. You need to be able to ask yourself a question. What will fulfill you? That's a critical question. What is your personality? What is your true nature? What is your gift? Are you a good administrator who knows how to run the operation? Are you a leader who can set the vision? Are you a highly skilled technician who can execute the work better better than anybody else? Now, you may be able to do all three or try to do all, all three because you are an overachiever, but it will affect the quality of your life. Michael Gerber states this in the book, The E-Myth, that a business fails because people are not naturally entrepreneurs, but think that's what they should be. I'll say that again. Michael Gerber states in his book, The E-Myth, that a business fails because people are not naturally entrepreneurs, but think that's what they should be. If you are only a technician, you will need a good administrator and leader. It can be hard, a hard reality to accept that you may need help from multiple personalities and people, but it is the only way that you will succeed. And also to make sure your quality of life is top-notch because you cannot do everything by yourself. You may be in business for yourself, but you definitely are not in business by yourself. And in order for you to understand what your true nature is, you'll understand what you're good at and where you are weak so you can get people to help cover your weakness. And we need to understand that there are three main roles in a big business. The entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician are the roles that run a successful business or a personality type that runs a successful business. Entrepreneur, manager, and technician. The entrepreneur is the visionary who sees ahead and plans. The manager establishes order in the workplace to create standards, order, and consistency. The technician is the worker and doer who is highly skilled at the technical work in a business. As illustrated in the story of Michael, the software developer, most people are technicians turned business owners. They are very skilled at their job and then decide they would be better off owning their own enterprise. If you are solely a technician, 
you will become a slave to the operation as you are the only one capable of doing the work. An entrepreneur will set the vision and a manager will assist in managing more technicians that are being hired. So this is very important when you are going out there and building yourself as a business, building yourself as a brand and getting yourself out there so that six six months, 12 months, two years, five years from now, you don't end up working yourself into the ground because you didn't take time to understand what your true nature is because you need three personalities to be successful in running a business. And the best way is to figure out what turns you on, what makes you great, what makes you get up early in the morning and what you are really good at. Are you the skill technician or you're a fantastic administrator or are you an amazing leader so that you can focus and triple down on what your strengths are and be and make sure that you diversify and get other people to cover the weaknesses so that you can operate in your strengths and that comes from understanding what is your true nature. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Transformational Tuesdays where we talked about understanding what your true nature is. If you like this episode, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you are interested in any merchandise, please head over to the website. And I hope that you choose to understand what your true nature is so that you can become more successful. And then you will end up saying like Jay-Z, I'm not a businessman. I am a businessman. Let me handle my business. Dang. And I will see you on the next episode.